I've come to Wiltshire to try to take a picture of the Westbury white horse in the background there, which was one of 13 white horses originally in the county of Wiltshire, of which only eight survive today. The white horse behind me was built in 1778, which was just a couple of years after the creation of the country of the United States of America. That's how long it's been there. But it wasn't the first horse that was actually on this hillside. That was a few years earlier. And there's sort of anecdotal evidence that there was a horse here in the 16th century too. The white horse behind me isn't terribly white. And that's because in the 1950s, they concreted over what would normally be a chalk horse. And they concreted over it to make it a bit more easy on the maintenance so it saves costs in Hamilton to re-chalk it. However, they do whiten the horse up on a regular basis. And in 2012, during the Queen's Golden Jubilee, they whitened the horse to brighten it up. And once again in 2022, uh, during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, they also chalked it over and whitened it up and made it look nice. But it doesn't take long for the weather to to wash away all the chalk and turn it grey again. But grey or white, it still looks spectacular on the hillside. My aim today is to try to get a nice picture of the white horse using the Olympus EPL5. Currently, I've got the 45mm prime lens on, and hopefully I can get a nice shot with this. If not, I'll use the kit lens. I'm going to look around this area to try and find the best composition. I've seen lots of pictures of this horse, and they're all taken... Uh, from roughly the same place, they're kind of roughly the same image. So I'm going to try my best to find something different if I can, and I'll show you the results, of course. I've come low into the grasses to try to get a nice low shot and get the grass in the foreground, leading you right all the way to the white horse. Uh, I've got the 45mm lens on the EPL5. It does feel like it's a little bit tight but I'll take this shot and I'll also take another one using the kit lens and a much wider angle and I'll see which one comes out best but I'm hoping to be able to just get a nice foreground of these grasses and hopefully the sun will come out onto the horse when I take it so which it's in and out of the sky at the moment. This being the largest white horse in Wiltshire, it's quite a tourist attraction and there's an ebb and flow of people walking past and walking over the horse. So I'm having to take my moment, I'm having to choose my moment carefully for when I take my photo, otherwise I'm going to have to crop people out of the image afterwards. The white horse sits on the side of the hill of what's known as Breton Camp, which is an Iron Age settlement about 2,000 years old, which also has a couple of long barrow burial grounds which have been here for thousands of years. This area is not only historically important because of its 18th century white horse or the fact that it's a 2,000 year old iron settlement, it's also the location for the Battle of Eddington in 878, in which Alfred the Great defeated a Viking horde led by Gudrun the Dane and became an historic and important part of English history, with limiting the amount of reach the Vikings had throughout the whole of England. I've come miles out to take this picture on the side of the road, and you get an amazing view of the whole of the White Horse from right down here. I'm going to, once again, I'm going to use the EPL5 with the 45mm lens. I think this is going to be long enough to get a nice picture of the horse in the distance behind me. I'm now just going to wait for the clouds to come over to illuminate the horse. And when the clouds move across the sky, and with those nice fluffy white clouds in the background, I think it'll make a nice picture. Thanks very much indeed for watching the video. I hope it's been informative. I hope you've learned something. If you've liked this video, I'd be really pleased if you'd give it a like. And likewise, if you like this sort of content and the photography type content I'm putting out, I'd be super happy if you would subscribe to the channel. That's fantastic. Once again, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.